Okay, so what you're going to need is you are going to need some vinegar. I'm using this distilled white vinegar. Um, you can also use apple cider vinegar. Um, it's supposed to uh, make your hair shiny and glossy. You're going to need some food coloring because I'm trying to neutralize the red. Um, I'm using a blue and a green. Uh, there is a color chart that you can find online that tells you if you're trying to neutralize certain colors. Um, what uh, what color you should use to try to get rid of it. So I have two and a half cups, as you can see right here, excuse my jacked up nails, uh, I have two and a half cups of vinegar here and I dropped um, a couple, well a pretty, a one good size um, drop full of the blue and the green in here. So I'm just going to stir this up it's actually really pretty in person, but the camera makes it look almost black. And if I kind of sound funny, it's because Daniel, um, my twin, he brought me home a cold. And Preston has it, and they can't stay away from Mommy, so Mommy got it. <laughs> so I kind of sound like I've been smoking for years, even though I don't. And when it gets worse, I sound like one of those girls in a bar. So, anyways, I'm going to... Uh, mix this up, just make sure everything's all nice and incorporated. And that looks pretty good. So now we're going to go ahead and head into the bathroom and get to work on our okay, hair. Okay, so now we're back in the bathroom. So this step is just really basic, and you can do it when you're in the shower. Go ahead and mix it up, and then get in the shower, and it's already in there. But because I am doing this to show you guys, and I have to be fully clothed, because that would just be weird. Um, anyway, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash and condition my hair and then I'm going to pour this mixture on top of my hair and then rinse it out. Simple as that. Um, it doesn't take any more work really than that and then you're gonna, and don't worry about the smell. Some people might be like, vinegar because it smells, is it gonna make my hair smell horrible? Uh, once you blow dry and stuff, you won't really be able to smell it, it'll, um, it'll go away. So. That's what we're going to do, so you guys see it before, what it looks like, just like so. So, um, hopefully everything turns out a-okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go wash my hair and condition it. Okay, so I just did it and rinsed my um, hair out and all that. So far, it kind of looks the same. Riley's fine and stuff. Anyways, other than my hands are green, I'm turning into the Hulk. So, um, yeah, but that'll wash off in a couple days. Um, and plus when I do dishes later, it'll come off. So, like I said, it still looks the same, but it is wet. So, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it and see um, what happens if it really did help tone my hair or if it just looks exactly the same. So, uh, anyway, so it did, like I said, tone down some of the red. And I can see a few, like I said, little um, highlight pieces kind of poking through, um, but nothing like too drastic where I'm like going to go around telling everybody, hey, you got to do this. As far as smell, my hair doesn't smell like vinegar, thank gosh, because <laughs> that would be awful. Get your man all like trying to smooch up on you, get all up in your hair, and he's like, ooh, pickled eggs. <laughs> so... Yeah, but like I said, as far as like uh, toning down a little bit of the red, um, it did work. Um, but this is only the first go around. I think um, I just keep saying on. I think in a couple of days I might try it again and just see what happens because I don't want my hair red. But right now with the roots and like the ends of it, it's all matching and it looks natural. It looks like this is, could be my real hair color. So that's always a plus because you know you don't want like crazy looking hair you don't and you don't get green hair just FYI I think that was because I had my hand in the tub like because I had my head bent over pouring it on my hair so yeah you won't come out looking like you know the Hulk but and the, the food color doesn't make your hair that color so don't worry about like oh my gosh am I gonna have green hair or anything like that but yeah so anyways like I said you know I can definitely see some of the the highlights and stuff in it, but um, I'm kind of toying with the idea of getting a Revlon uh, frosting glow kit 
and maybe possibly doing that to my hair, but then again, I'm kind of like, kind of scared to, because that's bleach and, yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I want to go and spend some money getting my hair done at the salon again. Like I said in my other video, I think about just maybe getting some blonde, um, either highlights or some chunks or something. That way when I have regrowth, um, it's not so noticeable and I don't have to go all of the time because um, I'm, right now I'm kind of all about like trying to save a little bit of money. And if you're like me and you dye your hair and you don't have the money to go and pay somebody, you know, out the butt to do your hair, but you want something that looks nice, you know, and you don't want to be just kind of bleh. Because, I mean, that's my, that's me. I mean, this hair color, it's nice and it's beautiful. And if I straightened my hair, which I have not straightened it, so it kind of looks like kinky and that's how my hair gets. But uh, if I had straightened it, it would look better. But I want a little bit um, of dimension in my hair. And that's what I was hoping to get with the toner was to tone down a little bit of the red. And then maybe some of the pre-existing um, highlights. I don't know if you can see right there. That I had would peek through. Um, but because I see these couple and then a couple more that I've had around. Um, that's why I say I'm going to give uh, the vinegar and uh, food color another go around. But anyways, um, don't be afraid to try stuff. That's kind of part of why I'm doing this because, I mean, somebody's got to do it. I mean, they didn't know, you know, this stuff in beauty school. I mean, they don't know the stuff that they know. If they hadn't tried it out on somebody, that's part of, you know, going to beauty school and, you know, why you have to work on each other and then other people and stuff like that. So that's basically what I was doing was just trying it out to see if I could get a good at-home result with my hair without spending, you know, an arm and a leg. Because whether you were a college student, a teenager, uh, a mother, whether it be to one child or four children or to seven children, sometimes you have to, you have to make cuts. You have to just scale your budget down a little bit. And that's what I was hoping. I was hoping not to have to spend all that time in the salon, all of that money, just to have to go back within four to six weeks to do it all over again. I want to be able to have like a day, a month, or every couple of months where I can just spend a few minutes, get my hair done the way that I want it, have it looking great, and go on about my business and not, you know, spend an arm and a leg. Because if I can get it for 20, 30 bucks, you know, and save, you know, 60, 70 dollars, whatever, that's great because then that means that I've got that extra money to set aside for something really important or to go and spend, you know, on my family. So, um, if you guys are maybe like me and you're around the holidays and there's little ones that you gotta buy gifts for and you're needing some quick, easy hair fix, um, tips, then that's what these videos are for. So, I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, let me know if you try it and how your hair turns out. And, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! Okay, just a little uh, side note. Um, I wanted, just in case uh, some of you question like damage to the hair with doing um, any of the stuff that I'm doing to my hair, I wanted to actually show you guys uh, my hair in better lighting. So I have the window open, that's why it's like really bright right there. But um, anyways, and I straightened it a little bit so you guys could actually see uh, better like with the color definition and stuff. But I wanted to kind of get close up and kind of show you guys, hopefully you guys can um, see this, but do you see how my hair doesn't look uh, broke or like, like it's been dyed or fried or just bad shape, you know what I mean? Like, do you see how it is, it's shiny and it appears to be in good shape and you can see some of, uh, like, some of the different color definition and stuff? So... You know, just keep in mind, everybody's hair is different, but all I've had is good results from doing um, the vitamin C, um, the shampoos that I'm using. Uh, on that note, I do want to say that I'm using Aussie hair products. I'm using the volumizing shampoo, and I'm using the miraculously smooth uh, conditioner, and then sometimes I'll alternate with the um, moist. So those are really good hair products, and then... Um, a couple more notes is when it comes to blow drying or straightening my hair, I do that 
maybe, and I notice I said maybe, it's like a big maybe, once a week. Most of the time my hair is down or up in a bun ponytail, which even ponytails like the bun, they're not good for your hair, it can cause a lot of breakage too. But that's because I need my hair out of the way because I'm usually bent over changing a baby's diaper, cooking, stuff like that. So um, I don't use a lot of heat products on my hair. And when I do, every time that I wash um, and straighten my hair, I use um, Aussie's Hair Insurance. Um, this is really great. Um, and if you also have hair that gets, det um, that gets tangled a lot, buy a detangler. Like my kids, they use the Suave Detangler. And sometimes when my hair just is having a crappy day, I'll spread a little bit of that on my ends and go on at it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys that my hair is not like getting toe up from using this stuff. Like I said, it is, it's in really good shape. Um, it feels really good. It looks really good. I hope this camera is picking up how good it is. Like you can even see at the ends, I really have got to go get my hair cut. Um, but you know, hopefully you can see how well my hair, um, looks and feels. So, um, don't be afraid to try this stuff. But I did want to put this in there just in case any of you're like, well, you know, is your hair getting like really jacked up from this stuff? No. Like I said, it's vitamins and shampoo and conditioner and vinegar and food coloring. <laughs> so, I just wanted to put that in there. Okay.